Daily in the body snatcher right here. It's a champ. Big up the sports and icon. Subscribe. Otherwise, I might pay you guys a visit. Now, as we know from December, or if you don't know, you'd you soon will now that in december the wbc are calling for the mandatory situation for deontay wilder okay so, but before then it's gonna be wilder versus fury okay we fully expect wilder to win this one and it is unfortunate as much as i would love tartan fury to win this one i think it's too soon that's just my opinion ultimately on the night we'll find out won't we but let's just presume okay that wilder is going to win this fight after then he must fight his mandatory he cannot fight anybody else except the mandatory or the unified champion in anthony joshua or potentially povetkin who knows okay but let's hope it's joshua right so he must face dominant brazil after he fights tyson fury so dominant brazil has said that he's open and he's willing to fight didn't white next for me that is a flag that Eddie Hearn should be jumping all over. Why? Because, you know, they've been trying to get Dylan White versus um, Deontay Wilder for quite some time. Deontay Wilder always seems like he doesn't want anything to do with Dylan White. Is he afraid? Who knows what it is, but he doesn't want to fight Dylan White for whatever reason it may be. And this is an ideal opportunity for Eddie Hearn to maneuver Dylan White into the mandatory, into a position where wilder can not avoid him so therefore after wilder defeats tartan fury if that happens then he must face dylan white the only way he can't face dylan white is to fight joshua but if dylan white is the mandatory and has been called next do you really think that eddie hearn would allow wilder versus joshua yes it's for undisputed but no of course he won't he will take the risk that dylan white is going to beat wilder and then Dylan White versus Joshua for Undisputed. Two Brits, two of his guys for Undisputed. Perfect scenario for him, right? Perfect scenario for Joshua. Perfect scenario for Dylan White. But every time Eddie Hearn speaks lately about Dylan White, he can't mention anyone else other than Derek Chisora. Derek Chisora is a guy who, let's be honest, against Carlos Takam, and I was so proud of him. I really was. I was, I was chuffed to bits for him that he won against Carlos Takam. He turned up, but let's be honest, up to that one punch, Chisora was getting battered, absolutely destroyed. And if Dylan White first, Derek Chisora happens, Dylan White is going to walk through him. He, he's going to do to him what he should have done the first time around. He didn't do it first time around. He let emotions get in the way, and he was trying to get him out of there too early he didn't pace himself and of course he was burnt out before he even went into that fight because he had so many fights before then within a short period of time now for me i don't like to see fighters go back and rematch unless absolutely necessary that's just my opinion so i don't understand why eddie hearn keeps talking about Derek chisora well i can't I do, and we are going to get into that, and this is going to actually be a little bit of a criticism towards Eddie Hearn. Now, I know Eddie Hearn, he prefers criticism to positivity. That's the impression that I get with Eddie Hearn, so Eddie Hearn, listen up, mate. Now, yesterday in Newcastle, um, I was stood next to Eddie Hearn, and uh, one guy, um, said, he asked him, what about Dylan White next? What's happening? And Eddie Hearn said, um, well... We'll find out soon enough. There'll be an announcement soon enough. And then I just chirped in and said, well, what about Brazil? And the reason that I said Brazil is because if Dylan White Brazil happens, Dylan White wins, Wilder is in a position where he must face Dylan White next. But he just turn, turned around to me and said, Chisora. Now that, for me, annoyed me a little bit. Because why would you want to waste the opportunity? that they, We have a golden opportunity here to get Dylan White into a position to fight for the WBC title. And then ultimately for Undisputed against Joshua. Okay? Because Wilder, that they're going to have to rely on Wilder to do a voluntary against Dylan White or a voluntary against Joshua. Wilder don't like voluntaries too much. He, do, he doesn't do it. Okay? Unless he can cherry pick somebody that's lower. That, and that's what Wilder does. But... You know what, I kind of understand what it is that Eddie Hearn is trying to do and say, hey, listen, maybe I'm wrong, but if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But for me, I feel that I'm right, that Eddie Hearn is 
desperate for Dylan White versus Chisora and almost brushing away the WBC mandatory position. Just brushing it away. It's not important to him. He personally doesn't want that. He wants Chisora and White. Listen, it's a big fight. But when I did that poll a little while ago, 73% of you guys voted Dominic Brazil. Why? Because we know what's at, um, at stake. We know what could happen next, after then. Because we don't always look at just what's the next fight. We always look at what happens after that next fight. That's pretty much why people said Dominic Brazil over Chisora. Chisora, you know, he only has 7%. Now, I know that Eddie Hearn, he does get like a lot of people saying, you know, Chisora this and Chisora that, because they don't know Dominic Brazil other than the guy who got knocked out against Joshua. They don't know what's at stake. If they knew what's at stake, they'd be saying, Dominic Brazil, Dominic Brazil. Now, for Eddie Hearn to, to be doing this, it's simple, okay? Joshua versus Povetkin next, April 13th, they must put 100,000 people, or at least close to it, at Wembley Stadium. Dylan White could potentially do that. John T. Wilder could potentially do that. So therefore, he needs both of these guys free on that date with an ideal opportunity for Wilder. Of course, it's for Undisputed. But if Wilder can't do it, Dylan White is the backup. For me, Dylan White shouldn't be anybody's backup. But, you know what, it's a title opportunity, so fair enough. But, if he was to have, say, Dominic Brazil versus Wilder next, so, sorry, um, Dominic Brazil versus Dylan White next, and Dylan White wins, the WBC call the mandatory, and then April time, whenever it may be, Jonte Wilder versus Dylan White. Who does Joshua fight in front of 100,000? Who? Jared Miller? Jared Miller is unwilling to leave New York. But even if he does, would he fill out 100,000? Would he? Maybe. I don't know. Because it is Joshua. Of course it is. But it's not a super fight, in all honesty. It's not. So, Eddie Hearn needs White and Wilder to be free around that date. If he can't get Wilder, then he's going to fight Dylan. For me, it's a business move. This isn't a move what's best for Dylan White. He's looking at what's best for Joshua. So Joshua has a credible opponent in April. I understand it. But for me, I don't think that Dylan White should be waiting around. For me, I think that Dylan should be saying, look, you know, I've already fought Chisora. Why would I need to fight him again? Okay, I'll knock him out and I'll get paid well. That's great. But as I said, I'm happy for Dylan to fight Chisora. I'm not hating on the fight, okay? I want to make that perfectly clear. I'm not hating on that fight. Didn't can fight anybody right now, and I'm happy with it. But while there's an opportunity to get him into the WBC mandatory situation to force Wilder to fight Dylan White next, you should take it. Why would you want to ruin Joshua versus White, potentially anyway, for Undisputed? Why would you want to risk that? Just because Eddie Hearn wants Joshua to have a credible opponent. I'm not saying that is it, but I'm saying from an outside looking in, that's the impression that I get. He wants Joshua to have a credible opponent April 13th at Wembley Stadium. If they can't get Wilder, then Dillian is a backup. But if Wilder versus White happens, and it would happen around that time because WBC have enforced it, then it means that if Dylan White was to defeat Wilder, when are we going to get Joshua versus White? When is Wembley going to be free? Maybe that's what he's thinking. Because they've got April 13th, but if they're going to be looking at, what, September after then, is Wembley free around that time? Who knows? Who knows? Maybe that's why. Maybe they have tried to get Dominic Brazil. I don't know. Personally, I get the impression that Eddie Hearn doesn't want Dominic Brazil. He doesn't want Dylan White to be the mandatory because he doesn't want to ruin the chance of a big fight in April for Joshua. I mean, that's just my opinion. I don't know if I've made sense, but anyway. For me, I think that it should be Dominic Brazil and Dylan White next. And Eddie Hearn should do everything he can to make that fight. Do what he can. If necessary, if Dylan has to be the B-side in that fight, then he has to be the B-side. As far as financials go. As far as name on the poster goes. I'm sure Dylan doesn't really care about that. But the ultimate goal is beat Dominic Brazil and then you will fight Wilder next.
You will fight him next. You ha Wilder has no choice. It ruins Joshua's April 13th day at Wembley because he doesn't have White or Wilder and he's going to have to maybe fight, I don't know, a Miller if Miller is willing to come over. But outside of that, who? There's a lot of good fighters out there. Otto Wallin. But is that going to be a name to fill Wembley? Probably not. Probably not. Maybe the winner of Kubrat Pool Evan Huey Fury. Maybe. I don't know. But for me, I get the impression that Eddie Hearn isn't doing anything as far as Dominic Brazil goes. He may have made an inquiry, but is he making any kind of offers? Is he trying to get that fight? Or does he really, really want Chisora versus White? Fact being, that's both his fighters. He's getting paid twice. And the winner could go on and fight Anthony Joshua. Eddie Hearn is manoeuvring everything around Anthony Joshua. But when it comes to Dylan White, he should be moving it around what's best for Dylan White. I don't know. Let me drop your thoughts. Click that thumbs up. Subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.